What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now, while the entire industry insider community has collectively decided that Deadpool 3 has a trailer coming during the Super Bowl, we're still waiting for an official announcement. And as I've said in previous videos, we're definitely going to know in a couple of days before, because usually a full list of all the commercials ends up getting published and publicly. But in the meantime, and what's a really good sign that the trailer might just be imminent is that the unofficial promo has begun. Where last week we saw Ryan Reynolds decide to accept an Emmy for Welcome to Wrexham in character as Deadpool and one after another he's been sharing behind the scenes set photos to his Instagram. Well this latest one actually may reveal something about a scene in the film we're going to break down the details it's unassuming at first but there's actually something going on here especially for a character like Deadpool that we know breaks the fourth wall. We're then also going to totally overreach on all the places that this possibly could be set based on what we already know about the film notice I said overreach not that that's something that any YouTuber has ever done before. We're breaking it all down this latest and official promo, well, unofficial official promo from Ryan Reynolds for upcoming Deadpool 3 and Wolverine. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews to the casual industry insider report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. In fact, we're giving one away for every MCU drop this year. Again, all you gotta do be a sub, leave a comment. If you want, stick around to the end of the video we get into all the giveaway stuff again there okay so while this video is going to be heavy on the speculation no need for a spoiler warning again ryan reynolds officially shared this to his instagram and it's been up for almost 24 hours so there isn't anything here that qualifies as a leak. it's a shot of two director's chairs with logan and wade wilson pinned to the back now it doesn't necessarily imply that they're directors because actors on set sometimes can have these chairs as well they're just called director's chairs but the thing is is that normally if you'd have a name they'll crowed to this it would be the actors actual names as in Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds not their in character real names Logan and Wade Wilson which makes it seem like this might actually be a scene where they break the fourth wall and go and sit in their actors chairs or directors chairs rather but in character in their real names as Logan and Wade but not as their character names Wolverine and Deadpool but again off of the set that they're filming on for this movie it would all be tremendously meta and something straight out of the comics for Deadpool maybe even more in line with the Kevin scene that we saw from the end of She-Hulk and you know listen that's always been part of the character maybe not so much for Logan and Wolverine but this is sort of implying that I, I couldn't see why else they would have those names in on the front of the chairs that way and not actually be the actors names but who knows they could have just been fooling around had these chairs made it as a gag and I'm overreaching of course we haven't started the overreaching yet that's going to start now looking at the vegetation in the background and trying to tell where this scene may be set now I immediately thought that this looked like bamboo but I am in no way a botanist or any sort of vegetation expert so I used google lens to tell me what it might be and it also said that it looks like bamboo. That being said, bamboo only grows in tropical or subtropical climates, and I think that easily dwindles this down to two places you would normally find Deadpool and Wolverine, both of which have incidentally been established as points of interest in the 616 continuity. The first of which would be Genosha, which is now heavily rumored to be Tiamat, you know, that huge celestial turned to stone sitting in the middle of the ocean. Apparently, in the future of the MCU, we're going to see this feature in a couple of places. The first was rumored to be Captain. Captain America Brave New World, which is now obviously coming out after Deadpool and Wolverine, but doesn't mean that we won't go there a couple of times. Now, it's been rumored that since Tiamat has been turned to stone and sitting in the middle of the ocean, that it has since flourished and turned into Genosha, the Marvel safe haven for mutants. That being said, if Deadpool and Wolverine showed up in the 616, Genosha exists there, that might be one of the first places they had looking for someone in particular or mutant allies. I think it's also worth mentioning, at least it's part of the rumor mill that's been around for the last year, and I will issue the lightest of spoiler warnings for this, 321, that this might actually be the location that Adamantium is now found in the MCU which may actually spurn a ton of international conflict as people try to obtain that animantium the same way that they were already trying to obtain vibranium out of the ocean, which we saw the setup for in Wakanda forever. Although that's the obvious tie to Wolverine being the source of adamantium, we have all reason to believe that the Wolverines and the variants we're gonna see during this film 
already have the adamantium attached to their skeleton, they've already been through Weapon X, this is for future MCU setup, which feels a little weird to say considering it looks like we're going to see a full X-Men team by the end of the multiverse saga, only for them to turn around and do a mutant saga where we see some of these same mutants and their origin stories, but hey, that's a topic for a totally different video. Now, the only other place you might find normally Wolverine or Wolverine and Deadpool that bamboo may be growing would be in Southeast Asia, and another established point in the 616, Madripoor, which we saw heavily featured during Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and they have yet to really revisit in any meaningful way yet in the 616. Now, I know what you're saying, hey, listen, they're going to be traveling the multiverse. They could easily go to either one of these locations in a different part of the multiverse. doesn't have to be the 616, but I would say I don't think it's a coincidence that the MCU has already established both of these locations, and we've heard that we're going back to at least one of them in a meaningful way in Genosha in the future. Then you would say, well, hey, they've got to make their way over to the 616, and we have no indication that's going to happen, but all we do, if you haven't seen my previous videos, in one of the official promos, the only official promos we got, and from Total Film, it really looks like Deadpool and Wolverine are in New York City, with Falcon flying above the sun, and the silhouettes of other Avengers up on the top of skyscrapers. Let's also face it, for a movie that's meant to bring Deadpool and Wolverine and presumably maybe some other X-Men into the 616, it would only make sense that a good portion of this film would feature in the 616. Guys, let me know all your thoughts though down below. How hype are you for Deadpool and Wolverine? And of these two locations, if they're correct, which one do you think is more likely, Madripoor or Genosha? I'm all ears as always. Quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. Okay, so we're just going to continue to give away PlayStation 5s at the channel until either the PlayStation 5 Pro or the PlayStation 6 comes out, and at this point, who knows which one's coming first. That being said, we do so with every major Marvel drop. So, X-Men 97, Deadpool and Wolverine, Agatha Coven of Chaos, and of course, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, whatever else comes out this year, we'll be giving away PlayStation 5 Pros, and for either that or any of the other future giveaways for other stuff we do at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. You need to be a subscriber, so hit the subscribe button, then leave a comment down below, and because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will always be announced at the end of videos in the same segment we're doing here, with the comment shown on screen and my voice live. We, in fact, just announced back-to-back -back winners for Echo and the What If finale, and again, the comment that won was shown on screen and live with my voice. So please be safe and vigilant on any platform, not just YouTube, where people are impersonating content creators and will tell you in the comments that you've won and either use the profile picture of the person or even go as far as to show you other pictures. Those are just scams. All they're trying to do is charge you for shipping for something that doesn't exist. Please be safe on every platform. If you should get a comment like that, either on my channel or anywhere else, just click on the little three dots to the right of the comment, report them to YouTube, because I promise you, YouTube can delete those accounts and ban them faster than the content creator can themselves. And you're not only doing a huge favor to the content creator, you're also doing a huge service to the community, because once you ban that account, all those comments get deleted uh, and everybody wins. So please, again, if you should get those comments anywhere, be vigilant and actually report them to the proper platform. All right, the best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at IamFires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. And while I would sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks so much for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.